Hey folks, I'm Jared Hartke, Rice Extension Agronomist with the University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture and welcome to the first episode of Rice and Advice. Here we stand in Stuttgart on the Rice Research and Extension Center and I'm in the middle of the DD50 planting date study. This one went in the ground on March 21st of this year. As of just yesterday, we found, finally now reached uh, emergence to a stand at this point. That's what we're going to have a little bit closer look at today on really, really defining what we're looking at in terms of saying when a given field has reached emergence and when we need to use that date in our DD50 program enrollment to make sure that we start accumulating DD50 units on the appropriate day to keep that program as accurate as possible throughout the entire season. So with that, let's have a little bit closer look at what's going on with this rice. So here we're taking a little bit closer look at just emerging rice. You can see that combination of white to off-white and obviously some slight green appearance. So the majority of this rice actually emerged yesterday, a day ago. That's the date we would want to use. Yeah, a little bit of the white is probably from a command application. Uh, but most of that initial growth that, uh, that pegs out of the ground is always going to be white. And then you see the rest of this uh, that's actually appearing green as that first true leaf starts to form. So keep in mind that with some of our herbicide applications, if we need them as a post application, cannot go out until we have one full true leaf. Well, we're certainly not there yet. You know that because you can't see one collar on that first green true leaf. Hopefully we will very soon given the temperatures, but we don't at this point. So one unique thing when we look across something like a planting date study, and we're obviously having a really good look right now at seedling vigor and emergence out of the, the 20 different cultivars that are planted in this study, is that really across the field, the trial up and down, you really get a, a pretty good appreciation for the fact that the, the vigor at emergence is very similar and competitive among all the cultivars that we're currently evaluating. So everything from a commercial basis is pretty similar. Now, some differences that you may think are appearing in some of these plots as we're walking by them can really simply be due to being able to see more plants because one plot may be a hybrid and another may be a variety. And yes, certainly there's gonna be some slight differences in vigor, but you can see that the majority of these plots where it's dried out enough, you can still see some wet soil locations holding the, the rice back just a little bit. It's a little bit of plot variability uh, we're used to, but we're monitoring for as we always do. But uh, they all seem to be looking really good as they're supposed to. And certainly anything that's in advance line that hasn't yet been released or is not widely available, we continue to evaluate for anything such as reduced vigor at emergence that may give us you know, pause going forward from a release standpoint or recommendation standpoint from here. So one item that's probably not gonna show up out here much at this point is the need to focus on getting our residual herbicides out there in the field and activated with a rainfall, if at all possible. One of the things we seem to be dealing with with some of this early planted rice is an ability to get a little bit of rice in the ground, but with frequent rainfall, we can't get our levees up. With that, the common question, well, what do I do with my herbicides? If I spray now and then I pull my levees, I won't have much herbicide, if any, on my levees. Well, the answer is keep the field clean first, make those herbicide applications ahead of a rain, get them activated on the field so we can keep that grass and weed spectrum at bay, and then we'll deal with the levees when that time comes. And as it goes, by the time you probably do get an opportunity to pull those levees, get them seeded and off and rolling, uh, we can just about guarantee it's gonna be time for another round of residual herbicide at that point in time anyway. So let's try to stay out in front of this while we do have the rain causing us problems for rice that is in the ground where we're trying to get residual herbicides out. It's also a blessing, get those activated and keep these early fields clean. So these early fields that have had herbicides out, be aware it's been two, in some cases, three weeks since that rice was planted. No guarantees on when a residual is exactly going to play out, but we're certainly reaching the end of that window and we're gonna be needing to look at, at overlapping another residual, even though some of that rice is just now coming out of the ground. Much easier to control weeds before they ever come up than spending money on much more costly post-emergence herbicide options. So just to wrap a few things up, 
uh, while the state is probably only about 10% planted as of this past Monday, certain portions of the state and certain growers are certainly a lot further along than that would actually suggest, certainly in the far northeast zone. Actually at this point pretty much wrapped up with planting rice, uh, quite a bit on the, in spots on the prairie, but again most still really haven't uh, put the first drill seed in the ground. But with that in mind, I do want to point you toward the much improved DD50 rice management program found online, dd50.uaex.edu is where you can go to log into that. Uh, if you used the program last year, your login information is all still there. The, the fields have been removed, so you'll start over from that standpoint, uh, but you will be able to, to re-log in just as you were last year. If you're new to the program, it does take just a minute to sign up, but the wonderful thing about that program now is our ability to really use it from our mobile devices, our phones and tablets. It works very well through, through any of those devices, so uh, please check into that. Again, especially with this rice up behind me, guess what? I've got an emergence date that I can set on this and track to see how we're keeping pace throughout the season with our planting date trials here. And that's going to wrap it up for the first episode of Rice and Advice. See you next time.